What's up YouTube, your old school expert, and today I've got a pretty sweet opening. We got four Stardust Blast first editions. Um, I don't think these came in Unlimited, so I think they're all first edition. And then uh, one Labyrinth of Nightmare pack to open up. Uh, so I'm really excited. I'm, of course, I'm always excited for Labyrinth of Nightmare. It is my third favorite set of all time. But I'm actually really excited to get these Star Strike Blast opened up and see if we get any. There's some good commons in here. Um, plus, some of the hollows are fairly valuable and just really cool. So we're going to open those up and then we'll go with the Labyrinth of Nightmare last. Um, these are from Halo God. And if you want to buy stuff from him, he's got, I think he's got more of pretty much everything I've opened from him so far. So if you want some of that stuff, go ahead and um, click the link and um, hit him up. He's pretty easy to deal with. And uh, I love this because it's got this cool 7-Eleven sticker on it. I mean, most people would just not think twice about it, but it, to me, it's like a nostalgic thing. And it just reminds me of going to 7-Eleven and trying to buy um, Yu-Gi-Oh packs or beg my mom to buy them for me <laughs> because that's kind of how it worked. Uh, so... Star Trek Blast, let's open these up. Let's get that uh, Supreme Arcanite Magician Ultimate Rare. That would be pretty sick. We got a Reed Butterfly, Scrap Crash, a Karakuri uh, Strategist, MDL 248, uh, Nishipachi, something like that. And oh, an Ultra Rare Power Giant. Wow, I, so I know this card, but I didn't know this was in this set. I honestly didn't know. It's probably. Um, one of the least valuable cards in the set. Not that it matters, but that's pretty sweet. Um, Creation Resonator, Kaiki Ring, Extra Veiler, uh, Powersing Stone, and Scrap Searcher. Um, this set also was really instrumental because it introduced Vanity's Emptiness, which at the, at the peak, um, it was a common out of here, but it was a short printed common, so it's about one per box. At the peak, those things were like 20 bucks, man. They were really expensive, 20 or 25, something like that. And then it got a reprint in the legendary collection 5ds and that one was like 30 bucks because it was a secret but then they banned it pretty soon after that well they put it to one and then they banned it exterior's fang or exterior's fang uh reed butterfly cursed bill necro linker and a chain dog crikey ring oh <laughs> speaking of vanity's emptiness well there's your short print right there um so yeah like i said in in the heyday in this card's heyday this was um, like 20 something bucks and a scrap searcher. Pretty good for a common, but again, it's, it's a short print. So that's actually pretty rare to pull this out of just four packs. Um, it's pretty unlikely because it's uh, such a short printed card. It really wasn't easy to pull those. We got two packs left. We already got an ultra, so can't really ask for much else. Uh, another hollow would be amazing, but, and there are some really good hollows. There's some cool Dragoonity stuff in here and um, just random cool. The secrets are really cool out of here too. And oh, we got a super rare, Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. All right, so um, we did get another hollow. And then the rare is another Kara Curry. This one's a 6318. It's so weird how they have these just weird names. Um, Scrap Lube, Extra Veiler. All right, final pack for Star Trek Blast. Can't really ask for another hollow because we've had two already. And it looks like we won't get another one. It is a Blackwing uh, Aurora of the Northern Lights. And let's see, can we get another decent common? Doesn't look like it. But you never know when commons out of here are gonna spike in price because they just randomly do because the set was really good and had a bunch of good random stuff. So we're off to the final pack of this opening. It is a Labyrinth of Nightmare Unlimited Edition, but it is the original one. You can see it's got the Konami um, logo, the box logo with the white background. That's the original logo for TCG Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, they switched it actually right after this. I think Legacy of Darkness was the first one to have that more horizontal Konami logo, the all red one. And of course they changed it a couple more times since then. All right, Labyrinth of Nightmare. I love this set. This set is so insanely nostalgic to me. So we got a Swordsman of Landstar, a Bait Doll. This I actually used in a, like a fun deck. I used to have like three or four fun decks that I would play with just, um, as the name applies, just for fun. And um, I always use this because I didn't have that many Mystical Space Typhoons. So this was a pretty good alternative. The Forgiving Maiden, St. Joan, and Gylosaurus. This is actually a pretty decent card 
um, because of its effect, it's um, pretty useful in today's game. Hysteric Fairy, Headless Knight, Lady Panther, and a Grand Tiki Elder. So that is going to do it for this pack opening. We had a little bit of old school, a little bit of uh, middle school, if you want to call that. Uh, 5Ds is, it's getting old when you consider, uh, I mean, 5Ds was what, from like 2009 to 2012. So it is kind of old now. Um, but we did pretty well out of this. We got two hollows. One is a super rare dance princess of the ice barrier. Another one is an ultra rare power giant. Uh, not the coolest hollows. I, I actually like this. The artwork on this is really cool. Um, but they are, I mean, they're ultra and super. So pretty sweet. Um, thanks for watching guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget if you want to buy something. Oh yeah, we got that Vanny's emptiness. That was a really cool pull. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> if, uh, if you want to buy anything from Halo guy, go ahead and click the link, hit him up. And as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.